Hello, viewer of this video, who is probably me. Welcome to a 2x2 glass door, which is the same as my other 2x2 glass door, except marginally faster. It's it's like literally one or two ticks faster, I don't know. It's a video. It's an improved design, okay? Leave me alone. So yeah, the whole way I managed to improve it was by using target blocks, because that means I can have this repeater here going to some redstone, which then targets the target blocks to power pistons that previously would have needed a repeater. So if we look on the original design over here, there's a repeater because the redstone powered a block, which powered this piston, then repeater powered this piston. So it just took a little longer. And then we've managed to get it shorter through here, which means we can make another bit of it slightly shorter, which is this repeater. And that makes it slightly faster, except I forgot to put the blocks in, apparently. Nope, they're there. Okay. Well, apparently I've managed to break something between whenever I built this and recording this, so... Ah, one of my sands has broke. Sad times. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my door breaking. There you go. Now we've got a slightly faster door that's not broken. Amazing. So, let's go and build this. You're going to need these resources. Uh, not necessarily a stack of blocks, but, you know... Just a lot of blocks, and then the rest of it is actually how much you need. So we also need this 2x10 wide area, and we've got the shape of our door here, so we'll just put the blocks in like so. And then for pistons, we go one block diagonally downwards, like that, on each side. Then coming to the sides, one block across from the wall, we have these double extenders, so like this, and then we just repeat that on the other side. And then above these double extenders, we have pistons at the back, pointing towards the door. Then we have observers aiming downwards from those pistons into the double extenders below them. So it should look like this from the top. And then on top we have pistons aiming downwards into the sides of the door that are one block up, so diagonally to the side like that. Just the opposite of the ones below. And that's our pistons. So I'm just going to fill in the other blocks from the door as well, like this, because they're used in the design. We can also put our glass in, so just in the middle like this. So for our redstone, we're going to place a white wall underneath the door on the left side. And then a torch aiming into that piston. Then we have a block going from that torch with a repeater. Okay, so under this torch, we just placed a piston facing outwards, and this piston updates this one. So this one will kind of be off because this piston has pushed above it, so it doesn't actually go up when the torch goes off. So this piston pushes out slightly later and updates it and makes it realise it should be powered and should go upwards. Okay, on this side we have a block with some redstone, and then we have an observer aiming upwards. We put a target block here to stop the redstone aiming at the piston. We do a trapdoor coming out the side of the block above this observer, then an observer above that trapdoor, so that just means redstone triggers observer, triggers trapdoor, triggers observer. And then we just have a block on top of that, a repeater coming out the side, and we do redstone dust like this. And then we put a target block here and here, so that redstone dust will now power those two pistons at the side. Coming out the other side, we'll do three blocks with redstone, a repeater, and a repeater. You just leave these as is, and then you put an observer above the first one, going into this block. Then we have a sticky piston with a block on top, and we have two blocks of sand on top of that. So coming from the side of these repeaters, we have a block with a torch, with a block, with a torch, and we're gonna wanna put that piston back where it was and then a block above that with redstone dust. So above that we'll put a block with a torch on top, and then a block with a repeater. And this is because when the sand gets pushed up, that will power blocks to the side. So with which we place a block to the side. Now we need either glass, stairs, or a slab here with redstone on top to stop it powering this piston here, and a redstone coming out of that into a block, into a repeater. Then we do block, block with redstone dust, another block down there with redstone dust on it, and then we go up to the side with a block above this repeater and a slab and redstone dust on both of those to power those. 
Finally, underneath, we have a piston aiming down with a redstone block and then a block with a repeater. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a redstone block, you could also change this to a block, put a block here with torch on it on the side like that. And then when this block gets pushed down, it'll power that repeater. OK, lastly, we're going to put furnaces or obsidian on top of the top two pistons that pull the wall out because otherwise the one on the left side gets pushed upwards and that obviously breaks the door, which I definitely didn't do just before doing that because I forgot these. Shush. So now if we place a button on this white block here, it should work. The door works and press it again. It'll open. And you don't have to use glass for this. You could use any blocks you wanted. So for example, I could just have a really ugly door that hides itself in the wall. Or not, because apparently you can't pull terracotta. Okay, the more you know. <laughs> As I was saying, you could have a really ugly door that hides itself in the wall. And apparently you can't pull terracotta. I didn't know this, look. Right, let's watch this. Delete the terracotta, put the terracotta in, right? It doesn't pull it, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't know this. I wanted a really ugly terracotta door. They've ruined my life. We can have our really ugly gold door still. I'll put a glass back because that's all it's supposed to be. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this door is still probably terrible and you could still probably make a way better one, but you know, I'm me and I made this one. So, shut up. And I'll see you in the next one. I've been Night and Night. Thank you.